Sign on the dotted lines. How many presidential lies? Come on, man, soul survive. As many birds, as many bees, as many flowers as there are in the breeze. Cause there ain't no end to soldiers' lives. Afghanistan, Iraq, Vietnam. There's a man I've left behind. The door of Cornelius and Anna Clausen's two-room adobe house is dragged by sun and wind, love and sorrow. Three children sleep crossways on a bed within inches of the kitchen table. The floor is covered with peanut shells and corny cigarette butts. A homemade wood stove murmurs as the moon dies. There is also a chipped enamel wash basin in a stand, above which dangles a towel, gray and wet in the center for many little hands. Above the towel, a paper butterfly on the sweep hand of a quartz clock circles in the dilemma of time. On the plywood table, an avocado is split open. The pit is gone. It has a black hole for a heart. Both parents carefully lift three sleeping children from the blanket stained with urine and sweat and carry them into their own small room behind a sheet serving as a door. You can stay with us, Cornelius says. Driving into the blue bowl of sky, this tiny engine penetrating wind, I shall begin with the drive to detonate blossoms again. Two barefoot girls entwined, you know, they sing on the road as they walk on. I was listening to the wind, and I caught their scrap of song. It was about a massacre in some small insignificant town. In the rear view mirror, well, a stream of sunlight, maybe 90 feet long, 
pierces them through the back, leaving blood on the road of dawn. Why is it these different kinds of light always seem to appear in an Easter song? The baked earth road unravels in a gravel, torn apart by the bullets and the shells of war, by the moments that lie in a ditch among the wildflowers of the moor. Doctor, doctor, I, I got this hole in my heart. I didn't fall in love. It wasn't made by Cupid's dart. But the war crimes when he piled so high, you'll never see the top. And the cries when he gets so loud, I make your eardrums stop. So the blood just keeps flowing from the wound that won't close up.
scraped the mud off of his shoes onto his kitchen floor. Well, I listened so hard that my ears, they got real sore. But far, far away. Well, I thought I heard my neighbor hit the hay. And I was just 